Welcome to Adventure Sphere. This channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle. In the process of creating this database, we are creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team to search for the people featured on our channel. Our services are free of charge. We ask you to consider subscribing, watch our content, and help spread awareness of our endeavor. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline can be reached by dialing or texting 988 or 1-800-273-8255. Calls and texts are free and confidential. Every year, over 600,000 individuals go missing in the United States, according to the National Missing and Unidentified Person System. Uh, while many are quickly found and returned to their families, others remain missing as years pass by. This is the South California Missing Four story. So four men wake up to a crisp Monday morning on May 15th, 2017 in Orange County, California. The sun came up at 5.58 a.m. and the high later in the day reached 52. Much later, when the men were to reach their destination several hours later in Northern California, the low would be 44 and the sun would set beyond the Pacific Ocean at 8.29 p.m. Johnson Nguyen, 32, picked up a silver 2015 Jeep Cherokee with California license plates 7UGP903 from a local rental agency. He picked up his three friends, Dan Nguyen, 33, Tony Sisfen, 31, and Nessie Sata, 29, for a trip to Northern California for a couple of days. Friends and family didn't know exactly where they were going or who they were going to see or what they were even going to do. Depending on what source you want to give credence to, they were either just picking something up from a friend's, they were going to look for agricultural work, or to look at properties to purchase. The rental vehicle was only for a couple of days, so they should have returned home sometime on May 17th. Anasi Sata, then 29, called his wife to let her know that he arrived to their destination on May 16th. According to the phone records and witness statements, our gentlemen of the hour were in the Berry Creek area of, the Trinity, of Trinity County. Curiously, the phone cell, cell phones pinged in Stockton, California on May 18th and 19th, days after the rental should have been returned. Did Johnson call to extend the arrangement? A waitress at the Mad River Burger Bar on May 20th said that she had saw the four men. And then lastly, a postal worker said that Dan Nguyen came in twice to the post office asking to use their telephone. Why would they need to make a phone call on a landline if they had cell phones at their disposal? Their respective families filed missing persons reports and went up to Mad River on the 22nd to look for them. Dan Nguyen and his family, and er, I'm sorry, Dan Nguyen, Dan Nguyen had family in Mad River, but for whatever reason, he wasn't able to connect with them while he was there. Prior to the excursion, one of the men, Tony Sisfen, uh, was arrested the previous year in 2016 for marijuana possession. What's interesting is that marijuana was legal both medically and recreationally at the time, so I'm not sure if he was arrested for something some other infraction that was more serious and he ended up getting a deal on a marijuana possession or do they have um like you can only carry so much is that something i don't know a little background about the area of california they were visiting if it wasn't these three counties it, they're known as the emerald triangle because of how well marijuana grows there there's rumors in the growing community that Johnson, Dan, Tony, and Anessi were going to steal marijuana and that they and the silver Jeep were buried using an excavator bucket, according to a longtime Trinity resident. When they were asked about the aerial search for the Jeep, he firmly stated that they won't be coming back, unquote. Why go through all the trouble of burying them and, and the vehicle? If they were met with foul play, they could have just launched the vehicle off a road in a deep ravine. There's uh, rivers in Trinity County 
in the area of the Mad River that seems shallow to, to me at least. Um, was the vehicle possibly launched to water in the Stockton area? There's several boat ramps there if they wanted to. There's also several ramps in Trinity, Humboldt, and Mendocino counties that they could be launched into as well. I am wondering if the men gave their friends and family false information in attempts to keep them safe if they were going to be doing something um, that should be kept hush-hush. I'd covered the Stockton areas for bodies of water, but I know they've already covered them in a few other videos. So I'm hoping if they are in that area that we find them while we're looking for somebody else. And then I also wanted to just throw this out there. When I was researching the men individually, it was hard to find information except for the um, Johnson Nguyen who I started the video off with. There is a man that was arrested, I think it was November. No, I'm sorry. He was arrested May 18th, 2022 for, I think it was first degree murder. Uh, he was... It says that this Johnson Nguyen lived in San Jose. He's in the main jail north. There is no bail for him. His next court date is March 24th, 2023. I'm wondering if these might be the same men. I put a call into the homicide department there. I haven't heard back from them yet, though. Um, so the places I'm going to mention next are shared with my blessing so these four gentlemen can be reunited with their family regardless who higher powers work through the description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for or to donate equipment the video of google earth that you're watching now has a measurement from our current best starting location which is uh, the burger bar in Mad River, and then it goes out approximately five miles from their last known location. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but just keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. So as it stands right now, we've got the Mad River, which is just behind the burger bar. There's the Trinity River and the Van Dusen River. If we can find out exactly where the men were staying, it may uh, redirect our search areas into other parts of the counties. Um, I'm thinking right now, though, they're going to be in either Trinity, Humboldt, or Mendocino counties. Uh, I was also mentioning earlier that every day, approximately 1,600 people go missing in the United States. Your donation brings closure to families with missing loved ones like these men by helping us secure equipment and getting us to locations all around the United States where missing people may be found using cutting edge sonar technology. Our mobile unit is able to assist families in small towns that need the high-end sonar equipment and diving services. And then we can also assist large cities as adjunct professionals. We help families, area government, environmental cleanup efforts, and other public safety entities free of charge. When you donate to Adventure Sphere, you're ensuring that volunteers can continue to be there for these families and communities. Thank you for whatever support you can give us, even if it's just subscribing, watching our content, liking it, and ringing the notification bell to receive the progress reports. I'm going to let the video play out here just a few minutes so you can see the entire search area if you're interested. If I miss something, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you.